Justin's on his second lunch. It's nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yep. We're on our mobile tree stand. It's super swampy out here. What's that? Not supposed to do wipes out. Okay. We've seen a doe and a buck so far. Little buck, really far away. I'm gonna go scout out some terrain here. walk up here and try to rattle in a buck we've been seeing three or four bucks now chasing does so they're rotting pretty good it's kind of midday so we're gonna i'm gonna get up here and hide in this bush justin's behind me on the buggy i'm gonna see if i can rattle one oh. nice buck right there crossing right in front of us. We think he's going to come to this crossing. Justin is right over there by that cattle um, cattle feeder about 60 yards from a little buck that we just seen. I'm on just like a small little couple palmettos hoping he runs at me if he jumps him. Not, he's gonna get a shot. He's 60 yards from where he goes. I see him running. Deer ran. I don't think he shot. I see it bouncing. Shaking. The fucking leg was off the ground. I couldn't put it down. Looked like you were pretty close, though. Like 60 yards. But he just got out of the thick grass. And with the expandable broadhead, I don't want to shoot through the grass. Yeah, I wouldn't want to shoot that far anyway. With this, it don't matter. <laughs> if you want to, you want to cool off? <laughs> Take a dip real quick. Probably eight foot. is whooped even with e-bikes and a buggy it's too hot in Florida it's raining
day two. We already located a buck. We got a game plan. We're gonna go try to go downwind, getting around them way out here. So we're gonna go way down here, downwind on different roads, probably two miles away from him, try to work into him. He is with a doe, moving slow, so. Three deer right here, and we're trying to go down here and walk across, because we didn't even see these deer. These are does, but there's bucks that were back there we seen. So we're gonna get back on this line and keep walking, even though there's these three. We didn't get eaten. <laughs> we still gotta go. We still gotta go back. We just went through all this deer right there.
I think it just went down. <sighs> Smoked him. Dude. I watched him fall. I like, get stumbly over here. I was fighting around that tree, man, trying to get out here to film. Pretty sure I watched him fall. Oh look, there's some does over there. Two does. There was a there was a spike or a four point over here grunting, chasing a doe. Little buck over there. There was a bigger buck, about the identical to this one over there. Dude, we were surrounded. I sat here trying to figure out how far he was because the range finder wasn't working. And I was like, well, I'm thinking that's about 60. I put it in 60. He's just laying here in the grass? Yeah. She was I know like, she was standing she like was right here, standing. And she kept getting closer, closer and closer. And her closer. Yeah, he was bedded there for a couple minutes, like five minutes. Oh yeah, dude, that was awesome. <laughs> now the work begins. I'm pretty oh, sure that bitch yeah. fell over there. Hell yeah, buck down, spot it, and stalk, dude. All day we we spotted him early this morning. Spotted him early this morning from a road. A mile and a half that way, we came downwind over this way, another probably two miles, came upwind, oh look there's still more deer out there, came upwind all the way to this little oak line and we hid behind these oak trees and they slowly, probably took them two and a half hours to work over to us. Laid up right there. Right behind that palm, right the two palms. Yep. That buck laid up out here. Yeah. She came pretty close to you. She was standing at one point. I was looking at her like probably right here. Yeah, that's, that's probably 30 or 40 yards from you. And then I was down on that tree down there, that other oak. Well, blood doesn't always start right away. So Justin's standing right where he hit that deer. And then back there is where he was sitting. So now we're looking for a bolt or an arrow that either went through him or still stuck in the deer. And it's nice and flat out here, so it's gonna be an easy track job because we're pretty, pretty sure we watched him fall. It's kind of hard to see the grass so tall, but we just found him. Hell yeah. Cost a little puppet land buck. Nice. Dude, we're carrying this bitch out on our shoulders. <laughs> he's tiny. Oh, he's an eight. He's a small eight. Hold him up real quick. Hold him. Grab his rack. Grab the basket. It's a good one for here. Look at that rain. I know we're about to get wet. Oh, there's a wall. Yeah. I love this cattle oh, pan. Yo. I thought he was a six, honestly, dude. No, I knew he was an eight. Well, you were a lot closer. Oh, you were right. I gotta, I gotta gray that out. Can you hold this for a second? All right, so it was an 80 yard run, so he died pretty fast. That's our trees over there, all those. And then he ran right over here. We're getting dumped on right now. It's raining. So we come under palms for shade guy here eight point we watched him for hours we seen him at like eight o'clock this morning spot and stalked him all the way in I'm not gonna show the other side because I hit the shoulder deflect it off come out the throat and it's pretty gruesome so YouTube's already given me strikes <laughs> all right this is how you carry a deer out of the woods sometimes it's hard to get on your shoulder good if you get on a hill like this grab the rack of the deer put it like this and you just gotta throw yourself but yeah that's how you carry a deer out on your shoulders all right guys thanks for watching just remember after you kill them the work starts
Yeah, right there, bud. I'm dead. I'm dead yet. Yeah, I'm on. Whew.